Wang Hang woke up and dreamt back to the perfect ancient world. He opened his eyes to see the world, including cultivators, spirits, monsters, ancient kingdoms, great roads, true immortals, elixirs of immortality, Taoist seeds, world trees everything is so unfamiliar and so familiar. What kind of brilliant era was this in the middle of the immortal age? Immortals and mortals appear, even the immortal king can be seen. Keywords of the novel Perfect world Mengui Xiangu no pop-ups, perfect world Mengui Xiangu full collection download, perfect world Mengui Xiangu latest chapter reading Chapter 1 Dreams You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 1 Dreams It felt like just a moment had passed and it felt like a thousand lifetimes had passed. Wang Heng didn't know how to describe this feeling. He lay on his back, wandering in a void and chaos, without knowing where to start or where to end, wandering aimlessly. Even thinking drifted with the flow, as if being exiled into the endless chaos of the void, becoming disoriented. I don't know how long it had been, but suddenly, in an unknown place ahead, a magnificent river suddenly appeared and entered Wang Heng's field of vision, causing a strange glow to appear in his walking corpse-like eyes, with a hint of anger. What kind of river is that? Time and time have turned into substance like flowing water, becoming one drop after another of river water, visible to the naked eye, no longer something untouchable. Countless droplets of time converge into a long river, vast and surging, carrying the changes of the world and witnessing the vicissitudes of the world and the changes of time. Overlooking the long river, it feels like an ancient historical painting slowly unfolding in front of Wang Hang, depicting towering individuals and objects, as well as poignant epics. Just as Wang Hang was immersed in something that he couldn't extricate himself from, suddenly the situation changed. His suspended body seemed to have been subjected to some irresistible force and fell rapidly from a high altitude. At this moment, Wang Hang felt the sky spinning and the earth spinning, dizzy and dizzy, unable to resist continuous retching. He wanted to shout for help loudly, but couldn't, so he could only wave his limbs helplessly. After a few breaths, Wang Hang felt like he had landed in a dark space, and the feeling of falling instantly disappeared. Then, he involuntarily flew towards the depths of space and collided with a humanoid black shadow. The pain that followed was like a tidal wave, concentrated on the head. At this moment, this part of the body felt as if it had been hit hard by a sledgehammer. The pain was unbearable and extremely hot, as if there was a blazing sun floating in the mind, releasing endless light and heat. This pain was too terrifying, causing Wang Heng to faint several times and lose consciousness. Every time he woke up, there was an endless headache waiting for him, so painful that Wang Hang wished to use his hands to dig out his skull and throw it on the ground. Just as he was about to give up, his consciousness was blurry, and he was about to enter death and eternal silence. A sweet spring gushed from the mouth of Wang Hang's lips, and as soon as it entered his mouth, it quickly spread throughout his body, soaking his limbs and bones, spreading deep into his head, bringing waves of coolness and greatly alleviating the pain in his mind. It is difficult to say exactly what substance this is. From Wang Heng's perspective, they are like murmuring streams, shining with a divine radiance. Like divine light, they overflow with a fragrant aroma, nourishing all things wherever they pass. Every flesh and blood particle infected by them seems to have sublimated, and their activity has increased by an unknown amount. Boom! Wang Heng only felt that some kind of shackles within his body had been broken, and his whole body had come to life. Blood, organs, bones, and so on were all filled with a rich and unparalleled vitality. There was also an inexplicable force hovering around his body, making his pores open and his whole body comfortable, as if he was about to feather and soar. What is this? Wang Heng's heart was filled with suspicion and uncertainty. Is it possible that this is the legendary fairy juice and jade liquid, as well as the agarwood and sweet dew, that can make a person live or die with just one sip, with flesh and white bones? As the cool breath entered his head, the sun hanging high in Wang Heng's mind slowly extinguished, all the pain and scalding were extinguished, 
and the accumulated scars were moistened and slowly eliminated by that substance. He felt an unprecedented comfort, as if his whole body was immersed in immortal liquid, his body was constantly evolving, and his spirit was also sublimating. This feeling was incredibly wonderful, something that Wang Hang had never experienced before. In the world he lived in, science was paramount, and all the supernatural powers and gods were seen as fabricated and imagined by the public. Even Wang Hang himself was a materialist and could not come into contact with these things in front of him. At this moment, the pain gradually subsided and his thoughts were pulled back to reality, restoring his ability to think. Feeling the amazing effect brought by the mysterious juice flowing into his mouth, he shook his head in the darkness, convinced that he was dreaming, including the long river of time that reflected the vast ancient history he had seen before. Everything was woven out of a dream and not a real existence. The reason for this affirmation is that in the past six months, Wang Hang has had a very high frequency of dreaming. As long as he closes his eyes and enters the dreamland, various bizarre scenes will appear before his eyes. He also went to see a doctor specifically, and the conclusion given by the doctor was that his frequent dreaming was due to his excessive mental energy, which led to his brain still functioning after being dormant. In addition, Wang Hang enjoys reading fantasy and fantasy novels, which makes his brain accustomed to constructing such scenes. Therefore, it is not surprising for him to dream of a long river of time, to dream of himself drinking immortal juice and jade liquid, and so on. With a bitter smile, Wang Hang muttered to himself, after all, it's just a dream. As the words fell, he suddenly heard a slightly urgent call in his ear. Hang Gongzi. Hang Gongzi. That voice is very special, ethereal, like the sound of heaven, with extraordinary penetrating power that strikes the soul, with an indescribable charm that is as pleasant and pleasant as fairy sounds, as if it does not belong to the mortal world. Hang Gongzi. Wang Hang was puzzled in his heart, who was this calling? His name has a Hang in it, is it not that he is being called? Thinking this way, he tried to open his heavy eyelids. At this moment, the dark space had disappeared, and after the scorching sun had melted, Wang Hang could clearly feel that his consciousness was within a body. He instinctively regarded this body as his own, but he lost most of the control and even found it difficult to open his eyes. After some effort, he finally succeeded. In the darkness, a glimmer of light emerged and shot down, illuminating Wang Heng's eyes. Are you awake? Wang Heng muttered to himself, generally speaking, a dream ends with the opening of his eyes. After waking up, he may leave some impressions in his mind about the content of the dream, remembering what he had dreamed of, or perhaps forgetting everything after a dream without a trace. Just as he opened his eyes and was about to gaze up at the ceiling as usual, he was stunned by a scene that appeared before him. What appears in the line of sight is not a ceiling at all, but some indescribable things, mysterious and bizarre. Among them, a glowing ancient tree occupied most of Wang Heng's field of vision. It was about the height of an adult man, with a thick and sturdy trunk, old skin like a dragon, and many cracks, densely packed. It was evident that this ancient tree had lived through an extremely long period of time. The old tree has lush branches and leaves, shrouded in wisps of pure white air, sacred and noble like a fairy mist. Between the clouds and mist, several fruits of different sizes can be vaguely seen, emitting bursts of fragrance. Just a slight inhalation of them gives a feeling of about to feather and soar. End of this chapter Chapter 2 the Medicine Garden of the Immortal King. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 The Medicine Garden of the Immortal King Around the Old Tree, there are various and bizarre plants, including grass, ginseng, flowers, trees, and so on, all emitting a hazy light. Standing in the holy white mist, it looks incredibly sacred. Wang Hang looked at the scene before him and felt a bit confused. Where is this? Have you not woken up from your dream yet? After a brief moment of dullness, he regained his senses and looked in surprise at the group of plants gathered in front of him. Rather than being plants, they are more like immortals sitting in the radiance, 
because each of them has a sacred and brilliant appearance, with a transcendent temperament. This situation gave Wang Heng an illusion that he seemed to have stumbled into the legendary fairy world. In his understanding, only the fairy world with numerous immortals could possibly grow such immortal plants. These plants not only have a sacred appearance, but also exude a strong medicinal fragrance, floating in the void. After entering the human body through the mouth and nose, they make the pores dilate, the whole body feel comfortable, and the whole person is floating. At this moment, Wang Heng noticed a slightly withered green fruit hanging three feet above his head, with one or two drops of juice that was about to fall, fresh and tender, emitting a refreshing and fragrant aroma. He was very familiar with this aroma. When he was struggling in endless pain just now, it was a fragrant fairy juice that appeared at a critical moment, dispelling the haze and saving his life. The juice hanging on the fruit in front of him is of the same type, or rather from the same fruit, as the one flowing into his mouth. In an instant, Wang Heng understood the context of his dream. In a transcendent land, a man named Heng Gongzi fell into a coma for some unknown reason. Later, a group of sacred, fairy-like plants used the juice of a fruit to rescue the so dot called Heng Gongzi. Thinking of this, Wang Heng smiled, because if nothing unexpected happened, in this dream, his identity should be a fairy living in the sky. Just as he was fantasizing and marveling at the reality of his dream, making it difficult to distinguish between true and false, the withered fruit above his head suddenly floated in the air and came to the most extraordinary old tree. Puff! The withered fruit exploded without warning, turning into a brilliant rain of light, pouring over the branches and leaves of the old tree, emitting a bright light. I don't know if it's an illusion, but Wang Heng felt that after being baptized by light and rain, the few fruits on the branches of the old tree had a deeper color. Ha! Huh. Seeing the fruits on the old tree, Wang Heng realized that the fruit that relieved his pain and turned into light and rain came from this extraordinary old tree. It was no different from the few hanging high on the tree, but the only difference was the size and color of the fruit, which represented the degree of maturity. Heng Gongzi, you're awake. An old voice echoed in Wang Heng's ear, accompanied by the breath of time, washing his soul. In a daze, he seemed to see a vast river of time. Above it, there stood an ancient tree, allowing time to wash away and the river to run wild. It has always existed forever. He shook his head violently and looked at the old tree bathed in light and rain with a slight shock. That old voice was exactly what it emitted. A tree is actually speaking, and what's even more shocking is that its body stands firm in the magnificent river of time, as if it never dies or dies. Wang Heng, who was in shock, was unable to respond for a moment, and the atmosphere froze on the spot. Heng Gongzi's primordial spirit has just suffered a great disaster, perhaps causing some unpredictable consequences. He seems to have lost his memory and doesn't recognize us, said a purple ginseng plant. As soon as this statement was made, the plants present shook their branches and leaves one after another, as if nodding in agreement with this statement. Indeed, something is wrong. The young master's gaze at us exudes a sense of unfamiliarity. Alas, can't even a long fruit heal the wounds at the place of the primordial spirit sighed a tall and lush ancient tree. It is much taller than the old tree, several times larger in size, and its branches are covered with divine fruits, looking very imposing and extraordinary. However, Wang Heng could feel the respect this big tree had for the old tree. It seemed that the old tree that gave him immortal juice and jade liquid had an extraordinary history. Judging from its behavior and momentum, it was undoubtedly the first sacred plant in this place. This can be seen from the name of the fruit. Changsheng Guo. It is difficult to think of a fruit named after Changsheng as extraordinary. So, have I eaten the fruit of immortality? Can I possibly live forever? Wang Heng thought of it this way, but then sneered again. It was just a dream, it couldn't be taken seriously. When the dream woke up, everything would disappear. There is a possibility that although I dropped the juice of the evergreen fruit into the young master's mouth and extinguished the chaos of the primordial spirit, the matter has already been settled and the destruction is inevitable. In the end, 
it is still one step late. The old tree spoke out with some emotion. Then, it looked at Wang Heng. As it was a tree, Wang Heng couldn't see the expression on the old tree at the moment. He only heard it ask, Heng, is there any discomfort on your body or inside your head? Upon hearing this, Wang Heng immediately shook his head in response. Then, with a calm attitude, he asked, where is this? Who are you? In Wang Heng's view, anyway, this is just his own dream, there is no need to be too constrained or too afraid, it's not a big deal to break the dream and wake up. Indeed, he has lost his memory. He came to the garden to collect herbs and was inexplicably affected by this calamity. If the immortal king returned and found out about this, he would definitely blame us. What should we do? A red flower spoke anxiously. It is as red as blood all over, with flames swirling around its roots and stems. Just approaching it gives off a feeling of dry mouth and tongue. Yes, the anger of the immortal king is something that only our divine medicine can bear. A divine grass with nine leaves echoed beside the crimson flower, and each leaf was engraved with mysterious and unpredictable patterns, including knives, swords, towers, tripods, and other things, with extraordinary Taoist charm. The conversation between the two divine medicines immediately made the plants present panic. They were well aware that the prince in front of them was hard.earned, and that's why over the years, Prince Hang has received great attention and favor from the prince, placing high hopes on him. If we know that he has had an accident and the primordial spirit has been severely injured to the point of amnesia, the immortal king will surely be enraged. At this moment, the old tree, as the leader of the many trees, spoke out and comforted them, saying, don't rush to make a conclusion. The calamity of the primordial spirit this time may not be a bad thing for Prince Hang. Upon hearing it say so, everyone calmed down. Lao Xu did not continue to explain, but responded to the questions previously asked by Wang Heng. Heng Gongzi can't remember at all. This is the Immortal King's medicinal garden, and we, following the Immortal King's spiritual medicine, are planted in the garden. End of this chapter Chapter 3 The Immortal Era You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 The Immortal Era, The Medicine Garden of the Immortal King Wang Heng was surprised. The word, Immortal King, is not simple, meaning the King of Immortals. Just being immortal makes people imagine and fear, let alone the immortal king. Moreover, from the conversations of these sacred plants, it seems that he is the son of this immortal king. Such an identity is not just simple, it is simply extremely noble. No wonder the old tree would use its evergreen fruit to save his life. The spiritual medicine sensed Wang Heng's unusual reaction, which further confirmed the speculation in his heart. This Prince Immortal has really lost his memory. He doesn't even remember the Prince Immortal Medicine Garden, including these Immortal Medicines and Divine Medicines, all of which have been completely forgotten. What does Brother Changsheng mean when he says the calamity of the primordial spirit is not necessarily a bad thing? Dot. You should know that the Immortal King has spent a huge price to build the foundation for Prince Heng for ten years. If the hidden dragon is in the abyss, it can only wait for the next day to plant the Tao and soar into the sky. However, now, the primordial spirit has suffered a disaster, severely damaged to the point of amnesia, which may have an impact on the upcoming cultivation of the Tao. At that time, it will be blamed. Brother Tao is an elixir of immortality. Even if punished, it won't cause too much trouble for Brother Tao. We are different. For Lord Immortal, having one more elixir and one less is not a big deal, the red divine flower spoke, with a strong expression of concern in its words. Other divine medicines also spoke one after another, eager to hear what explanation the Changsheng ancient tree would give. Upon hearing these words, the old tree did not conceal it. As its branches and leaves shook, it revealed its insights. In the long years since the fall of the emperor, Countless immortal kings have been born, and the vast majority of them have left their bloodline descendants in the world. Anyone who is a direct descendant of the immortal king, such as parent, child, daughter, 
etc., will inherit some of the immortal king's strengths, transform them into talents, and continue for thousands of generations. In theory, as the parent-child of the immortal king, Hengongzi should also possess terrifying talents that others can admire. However, in the past decade, he has not shown any strengths that far surpass those of other descendants of the immortal king, which is truly puzzling. But now, I seem to see a terrifying talent blooming in Hengongzi, a terrifying talent. The gods were surprised and turned their gaze to Wang Heng, who looked bewildered. As divine medicines, they lag far behind the immortality elixirs in all aspects, naturally lacking the keen insight of elixirs. Well, speaking of which, this terrifying talent is also related to the immortal king. In the entire primitive ancient world, the vast immortal realm, and even the vast heavens and realms, the achievements of the immortal king in the path of the primordial god can all be seen as towering over the other immortal kings. When the Yuan Divine Sword is wielded, the heavens and the earth lose their color, and all things wither. No one can compete with it, even those who are both kings need to temporarily avoid the edge and willingly bow down to the wind. As the son of the immortal king, Hengongzi's talent in the realm of the primordial spirit should be proud of the past, but unfortunately, it has never been revealed. Until today, the young master's primordial spirit has been robbed and a major disaster has occurred, revealing some clues to that talent. You can carefully sense and see how the young master's primordial spirit is different from before the words of the Changsheng ancient tree reminded the group of divine medicines present, who did their best to use their keen spiritual senses to sense and explore. After a moment, all the divine medicines couldn't help but exclaim in surprise. In fact, as the Changsheng ancient tree said, Wang Heng's primordial spirit had undergone a fundamental transformation compared to before the disaster. If the previous eternal prince's primordial spirit was only in line with the positioning of an ordinary fairy prince's parent-child, then now his primordial spirit can be said to be unparalleled among all the same age and realm fairy prince's parent-child. I was a little anxious just now, and I didn't notice that the young master's elemental spirit had undergone such a great change. This level of elemental power is already qualified to receive the inheritance of the immortal king. Legend has it that the Yuan Shen sword technique, which is known as one of the three major sword techniques, without the ability to defy the heavens, does not even qualify for cultivation the divine grass with nine leaves opened its mouth and its gaze changed towards Wang Heng. It seems to foresaw the rise of an invincible immortal prince and son in the mortal world, pushing enemies from all directions. Wang Heng, who heard the conversation between the Changsheng ancient tree and a group of divine medicines, was completely confused at this moment. Because he heard too many familiar things, such as Emperor Luo, primitive ancient realm, the mortal realm, and Yuan Shen sword technique, one of the three major sword techniques. These things all point to an online novel he has read. Can't I? I dreamt of coming to a perfect world. Wang Hang muttered to himself. Subsequently, in order to verify his thoughts, he began to speak up and ask the group of elixirs and divine medicines in front of him. His questions involved the six paths reincarnation immortal kings, endless immortal kings, ten evil ones, and so on, all of whom are characters from the perfect world immortal age. After all, in the original novel, the protagonist Shi Hao lived in an era where the primitive ancient world had already been shattered into nine heavens and ten earth, and there were no more immortal kings. Wang Heng only pondered for a moment and was convinced that this was not the chaotic age. As a result, the answer given by the Changsheng ancient tree and a group of divine medicines confirmed Wang Heng's guess. In this world, there really exist the six paths of reincarnation immortal kings, endless immortal kings, true dragons, true phoenix, and others, all of whom are supreme immortal level beings. As for the ten evils, the Changsheng ancient tree has never heard of such a saying. Wang Heng immediately asked in reverse, is there a thunder emperor who presides over the heavenly punishment avenue and is renowned throughout the world? The old tree shook its head, indicating that it had not heard of any Emperor Lei. From ancient times to the present, there have been strong individuals who have practiced this path with the intention of punishing the heavens and the human world, but the ultimate results have not been very good, 
and there are few who have a good ending. Even the strong immortal beings are very secretive about the punishment of heaven and dare not delve too deeply. How could any living beings rise up with this way and even consider themselves Thunder Emperor, the Changxing ancient tree shook its branches and denied Wang Heng's statement. As an immortal elixir of longevity, it has lived through an extremely long period of time, and sometimes, living for a long time is also an advantage, at least it has a broad understanding. Based on its experience, it is impossible for any living creature to wield the power of divine punishment, let alone consider itself an emperor. Wang Heng did not answer because he knew that in future generations, there would be an unparalleled talent in human form who would emerge from the sky, wield thunder, punish the world, and become one of the ten notorious villains. After a series of questions, all the medicines sighed. Although the primordial spirit of Heng Gongzi had more than doubled in strength, his memory had been lost. Even common sense things had to be asked about these spiritual medicines that did not leave the garden, and it was unclear whether this was a disaster or a blessing. They, who had already calmed down, couldn't help but worry again. At this moment, a clear sound of footsteps could be heard not far away, like the pleasant sound of orchids and the echo of empty valleys, with an indescribable rhythm that resonated with the way of heaven and earth. Each step seemed to be stepping on one's heart, making one's heart unable to resist beating along with this frequency. Wang Heng followed the sound and saw the newcomer at a glance. It was a humanoid creature, shrouded in a holy mist, and his whole body was hazy. He couldn't see his appearance clearly, let alone his gender, extremely mysterious. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Immortals You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Immortals, Humanoid Creatures Wang Heng was suddenly startled in his heart. He doesn't have much pressure to deal with a group of spiritual medicines, after all, spiritual medicines don't pose a threat to him. Even if it's the immortal elixir that grows on an ancient tree, it's just a way to escape the spell and master the spirit. He's completely clueless about combat. This is also the understanding he gained from books when reading The Perfect World. But if it were a humanoid creature, it would be different. However, he wasn't too panicked either. Because deep down in Wang Heng's heart, he always believed that he was in a dream at this moment, and the worst outcome was nothing more than waking up from a big dream. On the other hand, as a prince of immortality, he respected his status and should not be troubled. The only thing to be wary of is that he did not inherit the memory of the original owner of his body, and did not have a special understanding of everything here. He could only rely on the information obtained from the novel. If the secret of whether his body is divine or not is discovered, he is likely to be unable to bear it. With such thoughts in mind, the humanoid creatures standing in the fairy mist have already approached. The wisps of fairy mist slowly dispersed like living beings, revealing the faces of humanoid creatures. For a moment, an indescribable face appeared in Wang Heng's sight. He was a man, incredibly handsome, almost demon-like, with a pair of deep and profound eyes, as if containing the wisdom of the universe. Just looking at each other, Wang Heng's gaze couldn't help but sink in, his whole body froze on the spot. In the next moment, the humanoid creature actively converged, and that strange feeling disappeared in an instant. His temperament also fell from the immortal realm to the mortal world, returning to simplicity. Young master, you went to collect herbs and haven't returned for a long time, but what happened? The man spoke with a hint of respect in his words. After speaking, his eyes flickered with fairy light, and he casually swept over Wang Heng, immediately sensing his abnormality. The scent of longevity fruit permeates between flesh and blood, it seems that it has just taken one. Young master, the cultivation of the way is imminent. Taking the elixir of growth is like pulling out seedlings to promote growth. In mild cases, it can affect the foundation, and in severe cases, the path will be completely destroyed. Brother Dao, can you provide an explanation the man's face became serious, his gaze fixed on the evergreen tree. He also noticed the abnormality of Wang Heng Yuanshan, who was more than twice as powerful as before. 
In just one cup of tea, there was a terrifying increase, which was unimaginable. He could only temporarily attribute this to the longevity fruit. Faced with the man's question, Changsheng Ancient Tree calmly replied. Don't worry, I gave him Changsheng juice, not a whole fruit. In addition, I took out the Changsheng substance in advance, and only retained the essence of life, the essence of heaven and earth, etc., which would not harm his path of cultivation. Upon hearing this, the man finally felt relieved. Wang Heng was shocked to see that the man in front of him was actually a true immortal. No wonder he was so mysterious and extraordinary. This is still under the condition of the true immortal's convergence, otherwise, a glance can make his soul return to the heavens. However, there were some issues with the primordial spirit of Prince Heng, and he was once in crisis. This is also the reason why I fed him the juice of Changsheng, Changsheng Gu Xu truthfully told me. Upon hearing the words, Junxian's eyes were bright and dark, looking straight into Wang Heng's eyes. It was a long time before he moved towards him. Through the immortal family's means, he has already found out everything and his face has become uncertain. The young master has never planted a path to practice, but the power of the primordial spirit has more than doubled, a situation unheard of in the entire ancient world. There are only a few possibilities, such as being taken away by others, being forcibly infused, taking the legendary elixir of longevity that enhances the elemental divine power, or awakening one's talent. I see that the young master's spiritual essence at this moment has no signs of external invasion, and the longevity fruit is not an elixir to enhance the divine soul. It seems that this is the awakening of the young master's supreme talent. With the expertise of the immortal king in the journey of the primordial spirit, it is expected that the parent-child will possess this talent. However, the time of his rise was a bit late, and it happened to be on the eve of the cultivation of the Tao. The sudden change in the primordial spirit also caused the young master to lose his memory. In this way, the best opportunity to cultivate the Tao was missed, but considering the awakening of the primordial talent, it can be considered a blessing in disguise the true immortal muttered to himself. Later, he bid farewell to the Changsheng ancient tree and a group of divine medicines in the medicine garden, and wanted to take Wang Heng out for a more detailed inspection. Along the way, Wang Heng followed behind Jinxian, silent and thinking rapidly in his heart. This dream seems somewhat different from previous dreams. In the past, when he realized that he was dreaming, the dream would quickly become illusory and blurred, and then collapse. Unlike this dream, even if he was awake and even pinched himself hard, there was no sign of collapse in the dream. Instead, a piercing pain was transmitted from his skin. What's going on? Has the dream come true or not? He muttered to himself, puzzled and puzzled. The true immortal ahead has been observing his actions all along, and after seeing his behavior, he spoke up and asked. Do you still remember your respected name, young master? Wang Heng was taken aback by the sudden question. He inexplicably thought of the words of the true immortal just now. His vitality skyrocketed, and there was a possibility that he might have been taken away by someone else. Although the true immortal ruled out this possibility, heaven knows what his true thoughts are. He wanted to answer three words. Heng Gongzi. This answer would definitely not be wrong, but considering that he had not entered the path of cultivation and the gap between himself and a true immortal was unimaginable, lying or having reservations could be detected by the other party. In addition to the reason for the difference in cultivation, Wang Heng also thought of many other things. In the original work, one of the three major sword decisions, the Yuan Shan Sword Decision, also known as the Pacification Decision, has always been a single lineage since ancient times. The inheritor of the Pacification Decision in the Chaotic Era is surnamed Wang. Therefore, it should be this surname that is the right one to use this sword to pacify the Immortal King in the Immortal Era. However, at this time, the Immortal King had not yet used this sword technique to exert great power, so the sword technique was still called the Yuan Divine Sword Technique and had not been named, Ping Luan. So he responded, of course I remember, my name is Wang Heng. Jinxian nodded and asked, 
Do you remember anything else besides your respected name? Other. What should be said is the memory of the original owner of the body. Thinking of this, Wang Heng shook his head with peace of mind. He had not obtained any memory fragments, his eyes were completely black. Next, in order to take the initiative, before Zhen Xian could speak up again, Wang Heng took the lead in asking questions. He knew that as a valued parent, child of the immortal king, his identity was definitely more prestigious than that of a Zhen Xian. Sure enough, the man showed no impatience towards Wang Heng's question and provided answers one by one, including the situation at the Xian Wang mansion at this moment. Listen to the Changxing ancient trees and they say, My father is not in the mansion. Where did he go? Jin Xian replied, At the invitation of his friend, the immortal king went to the border, which is adjacent to a foreign land. It seems that there has been some unusual activity recently. The immortal king's visit there can greatly deter foreign thieves. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Xian Wang Mansion You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Xian Wang Mansion, What, Border? A Foreign Land Wang Hang was deeply moved. From the official history of the Xiangu era, it can be seen that the reason why the immortal king surnamed Wang, who mastered the Yuan Divine Sword technique, came to an end was related to an exploratory attack in a foreign land. During World War I, the immortal king surnamed Wang used the pacification decision to unleash his divine power, slaying the immortal king of a foreign land, repelling a large army of foreign land, and quelling the turmoil. One of the three major sword decisions, the Yuan Divine Sword Decision, was named, Pacification Decision, and became famous throughout history. Although the immortal king surnamed Wang did not fall on the spot, he also ended up seriously injured and dying. He could only survive and died in the late Xiangu era, with dust returning to dust and soil returning to earth. In the chaotic era of later generations, the Wang family seemed to have become a true immortal family, and no one mentioned that their ancestors were immortal kings. No one knows what exactly happened, but even a guess can tell that the immortal king was severely damaged, and the life of the Wang family is definitely not easy. Even the deeds of his ancestors, the immortal king, have been blurred and erased. Thinking of this, Wang Heng felt a lot of pressure. If the exotic changes mentioned by Zhen Xian were really a prelude to the exploratory attack of exotic regions in official history, then his father, the immortal king, would soon suffer a heavy blow, and the royal family of the immortal king family would also decline. It should be noted that the rise of an immortal king is always accompanied by endless bloody storms, inevitably forming many enemies. If the immortal king of the Wang family falls, loses his power in World War I, and struggles to the death, then the Wang family will face terrifying pressure. As a prince of the immortal king, he is highly expected by his father, and it is estimated that most of the pressure from the outside world will fall on him. Young master, what's wrong with you? Seeing Wang Hang's eyebrows furrowed and his eyes flickering, the immortal beside him inquired with concern, thinking that he was concerned about the safety of his immortal king father. Upon hearing this, Wang Heng's eyebrows relaxed and calmed down. He coughed lightly and then responded, It's nothing, I just feel familiar with the term, exotic, which invisibly puts pressure on people and makes them gasp for breath. The power of foreign lands is well known, with a terrifying number of immortal kings and immortals sitting at their helm, and capable of conquering and fighting. In the past three epochs, they have annexed and destroyed several ancient realms, killing blood-stained blue skies and billions of corpses. They have experienced friction and collision with both the immortal realm and our realm, and can be described as raging flames. At the most serious moment, there were creatures of the immortal king level who died in battle. If it weren't for a few famous masters of the heavens and a group of immortal king masters sitting in our world, the foreign lands would have attacked and killed them long ago. In such a ferocious world, there is an invisible aura of malice emanating from it. It is normal for those who hear it to feel lost and alarmed. Zhen Xian explained. Wang Heng smiled but did not respond immediately. Then, he casually spoke up, 
are the adults you mentioned who have moved the heavens. Are they the Six Paths Reincarnation Immortal King, the Endless Immortal King, and the Ancestral Sacrificial Spirit? The man nodded. These adults and my master are the giants among the immortal kings, with a great reputation in the various heavens and realms. Even if there are many immortal kings in foreign lands, they dare not engage in a full dot scale war with our realm, said the true immortal confidently. Wang Heng couldn't help but sneer at his confidence. If everyone in this world thought so, including those immortal kings. So when the foreign army comes to kill, it is the day of the collapse of this world. By the way, young master, these adults are the supreme beings in the ancient world. All living beings should worship them and not call them by their respected names. Otherwise, it will bring about a vision and be known by the immortal king. This place is shrouded in the power of the immortal king, which prevents the vision from appearing. If you go outside, pay attention to this Wang Heng nodded, indicating that he knew. During their conversation, the two had already left the immortal king medicine garden. Under the guidance of true immortal, they passed through magnificent temples. Wang Heng did not know where the other party was taking him, but silently followed. From the current conversation, it seems that this immortal had no ill intentions towards him. Of course, this may be the other party's disguise. However, Wang Heng felt that he had no strength to bind chickens, and as a true immortal, there was no need to pretend and plan anything. After walking for a long time, passing by countless towering ancient buildings, there was still no sign of the end of the Xianwang mansion, which surprised Wang Heng greatly. If it were in the world he was in, this mansion would be comparable to many large cities. I think so. This is the residence of a powerful immortal king, and forming a self-world is the most basic. You can see it by benchmarking against the city of the immortal domains Pan Wang. Sure enough, guided by the true immortal, Wang Heng saw one bustling scene after another. The gladiatorial arena, chaotic inn, and ancient streets filled with the aura of immortality were bustling with people, cars and horses, and a constant flow of goods. Various strange and unheard of things were displayed for sale, which truly opened up Wang Heng's horizons. Whenever he passes by the true immortal, the people around him will respectfully salute him, clearly knowing his identity as the prince and son of the immortal. There are even creatures of all ages who want to come and talk, but they are all blocked by true immortals and rejected one by one. He didn't want to make everyone aware of the fact that the prince of immortals and his son had lost their memory. This kind of thing is beneath the authority of the prince of immortals. After walking for a long time, the two of them arrived at a pair of giant gates, standing on a mottled slate stained with dark red. Looking up at these towering gates, they could deeply feel their own insignificance and insignificance, as if an ant was looking up at an unattainable peak. Seeing Wang Heng looking up and not moving for a long time, the immortal spoke in awe. This gate was refined from a famous immortal ancient mountain several eras ago. It emerged on a stormy and thunderous night, triggering endless illusions and sparking fierce battles among the immortals for the treasure. At that time, the Lord had reached the realm of the immortal king, with great power in all directions and shared in the universe. With just one hand, he defeated all the competitors and held the immortal mountain in his hand. Thus, this pair of gates to the immortal king's mansion was established Wang Heng nodded, his heart unable to calm for a long time. If he had moved the highest peak in the world where he used to be, it would probably not have been as high as 100 million yuan or 100 million yuan in this gate. What kind of dream did you have? Have you come to such a vast world of gods and demons? As he followed the true immortal up the wide and long steps, the sound of the great road suddenly rang in his ears, echoing in his heart. His entire body reacted, emitting wisps of immortal aura, and the primordial spirit was ecstatic, ready to comprehend the Tao. However, the real immortal on the side intervened and prevented him from realizing the Tao. The young master has lost all his memories, and everything needs to be restarted. It is not appropriate to enter the realm of enlightenment now, which is not conducive to the future path. Moreover, this place is not a good place. 
The stone slabs under our feet are made from the battlefield of the Immortal King, some of which have been soaked in the blood of the Immortal King and have already been spiritualized. If we don't, they will lead the young master astray, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 Seeking the Sun You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Seeking the Sun Wang Heng woke up in shock, and his heart couldn't help but jump violently. The stones splashed with the blood of the immortal king, even if they were originally ordinary, would become the supreme treasure. However, in the Xian Wang mansion, only bricks and tiles were used to lay the floor. It can be seen from this how wealthy a fairy king is. He nodded slightly and followed the pace of the true immortal. After climbing the step step by step, the two of them walked through the magnificent immortal architecture and entered a small path. Along the way, everything they passed, whether it was houses, floors, or pillars, was made of top-notch immortal materials. On both sides of the road, there are flower beds planted with divine medicines, emitting a fragrant fragrance of flowers, adding a touch of vitality to the solemn and dignified royal mansion. Wang Heng was like walking around and admiring the scenery he had never seen before. For his reaction, his colleague Jin Xin did not have any doubts, after all, it has been confirmed that the prince and son of the immortal unexpectedly lost their memory. Not long after, they arrived at the destination of their trip, which was a tall and towering palace towering into the clouds, made of some special metal. From a distance, the main road flowed and the fairy mist curled up, extremely extraordinary, and at first glance, it was the land of immortal treasures. This hall is the immortal palace where the strongest warrior under the immortal king's seat, the quasi-immortal king of Xuanyang, resides. With the strength of senior Xuanyang, he will definitely conduct the most meticulous inspection for the young master to ensure that there will be no mistakes. The man who approached the demon perfectly said. As a true immortal under the Wang family, he is well aware of the high expectations that the Wang family's immortal king has for this parent-child. He hopes that Wang Heng will embark on the strongest path in the future, replicating the Jin Wu clan in the immortal realm, and creating a myth of two immortal kings. Therefore, there is no room for any mistakes. Being in the realm of true immortality, he couldn't see any problems with Wang Heng, so let's look at it from the perspective of seeking Yang in the realm of quasi-immortal king, to avoid making mistakes and blaming the immortal king upon his return. A mere immortal cannot bear the anger of an immortal king. After Dao Mingyuan, the guard of this immortal palace, quickly gave way and the two of them took big steps into the mysterious and unpredictable palace. In the palace, there are magnificent, carved beams and painted rafters, and people are dazzled by all kinds of reliefs. Those who didn't know thought they had entered a luxurious palace. Wang Hing thought to himself, could it be that this sun-seeking immortal king is also someone from the mortal world? In his imagination, the creatures in the immortal realm should all be those who are devoted to the Tao and transcend the mortal world. They will not focus their minds on anything else, but the scenery they see in front of them is completely different from what they imagined. Just as his mind was spinning, a golden crow engraved on the walls of the main hall seemed to come to life, suddenly emitting deafening bird sounds and releasing terrifying heat, like a scorching sun in the sky. Boom! The flames surged into the sky, and a golden crow actually rushed out and circled in the main hall. Wang Heng was amazed to see it, but the true immortal next to him was accustomed to it, as if he had already anticipated this scene to happen. The golden crow hovered in the sky, vibrating and burning with fiery light feathers, slowly descending onto a person's arm, and then standing on it, quietly combing his divine feathers. Wang Heng just saw a middle-aged man dressed in a blue Taoist robe with black hair appearing in the main hall at some point, looking at them with a slight surprise. Xuanyang I have met the young master. The middle-aged man walked towards the two of them and bowed to Wang Heng. This person had sharp eyebrows, starry eyes, and long black hair that spread freely. His body was tall and straight, like an insurmountable mountain, giving people a heavy and oppressive feeling. The quasi-immortal king is very close to him. There is no simple creature that can reach this point. 
They are all outstanding in one or even several eras, possessing the powerful ability to overlook the true immortal. This is also the reason why the demon man brought Wang Heng here. Hmm. What happened to the young master? Xu and Yang immediately noticed something strange about Wang Heng and saw a stranger in his eyes, which was somewhat abnormal. It should be noted that the two of them had long known each other and should not be so unfamiliar. Senior Xu and Yang, as a wise guide, just now the young master went to the medicine garden to pick herbs. Unexpectedly, he awakened his spiritual talent, but he also paid a price for it. All his memories have been lost. I dare not neglect such a big matter, so I brought the young master here and asked the senior to make a decision. The demon man bowed to the middle dot aged man and recounted what had happened to Wang Heng. Has the innate talent of the primordial spirit awakened, and all memories have been lost. The middle dot aged man immediately understood and quickly turned his gaze to the location of Wang Heng's head. Young master, I have offended you. He first apologized, and then a brilliant fairy light emanated from his eyebrows, from which a golden black flew out, carrying a blazing flame, as if a sun had descended upon the human world. Wang Heng only felt a burning sensation on his face, and then the golden crow rushed into the place where his spirit was located, flapping its wings and flying quickly past. After an instant, the burning sensation disappeared, followed by the disappearance of the three-legged golden crow. Although he didn't know what had happened, Wang Heng could vaguely guess that the purpose of this quasi-immortal king was nothing more than to investigate whether his primordial spirit had any signs of external invasion. Regardless of the outcome, Wang Heng can only pretend to know nothing. Fortunately, the answer obtained by Xu and Yang was similar to that of a demon man, and he did not discover the secret of whether his body was divine or not. When the immortal king left, he once instructed me to protect the young master's safety, not to make mistakes, and to assist him in cultivating the path perfectly and embarking on the path of ultimate strength. Unexpectedly, such a thing happened suddenly halfway through. At this moment, although the young master awakened his talent as the primordial god, he lost his memory. This is highly likely because the primordial god cannot bear the sudden expansion, leading to damage to the origin. I'm afraid this will affect the young master's future path. Senior Xu and Yang, what do you think of this matter? The demon man spoke up, wanting to hear the opinion of the quasi-immortal king in front of him. After looking at Wang Heng a few times, Xu and Yang replied, In my opinion, the awakening of the innate talent of the primordial spirit should be a blessing for the young master, and a blessing for the immortal king. Before entering the path of cultivation, one already possesses such powerful elemental power, which meets the conditions for practicing the elemental sword technique. When one truly begins to practice, heaven knows how powerful the young master will be, at least in terms of elemental power, one can easily crush opponents. As for the issue of the damage to the origin of the primordial spirit, I don't think it's a concern. You can help the young master plant the path first, and it won't be too late to deal with this problem when the immortal king returns, as the senior said, the issue of the primordial spirit is not a problem for the immortal king. I have been overthinking it. As he spoke, the demon man bid farewell to Xu and Yang and wanted to leave with Wang Heng. With the guidance of a quasi-immortal king, he felt much more at ease. Next, all you need to do is help Wang Heng restore his state to the previous state, and then you can select the path of cultivation, perfect the path of cultivation, and truly embark on the path of cultivation. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Metal Palace You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Metal Palace The two of them left the Xu and Yang Immortal Palace. According to the Demon Man, their next destination was the Wang family's preaching hall. Originally, it took Wang Heng several years to achieve the achievement of being proficient in a large number of words and ancient sayings before practicing Taoism. Even if he had not entered the path of cultivation, he could rely on the strong foundation possessed by the immortal prince and his son to cast some simple spells and talismans which is truly a natural talent that has been difficult to find since ancient times. Now, Wang Heng's sudden arrival has turned everything into nothing, and all the accumulation has been cleared to zero, becoming a blank sheet of paper. 
since he has not obtained the memory of the original owner of the body, he can only start from scratch. The words and language in our world are not simply used for communication, they are all the language of the Tao. They are not only a carrier of the Tao, but also the tangible trajectory of the innate Tao. What is the most complex thing in this world? Nature is the Tao, which is inexplicable and intangible, yet it permeates between heaven and earth everywhere. And the written language in my world is a relatively accurate depiction of the Tao. Once you master this type of writing, you will grasp many of the essence of heaven and earth, which is of great benefit to your own cultivation. If the young master can master the writing and language of our realm before planting the Tao, it will be of great benefit to the future path. Therefore, I suggest that the young master first study diligently in the preaching hall before selecting the Tao seed. As for matters related to cultivation, young master, don't worry. The immortal king has already paved the way for you. There are three perfect seeds alone, all of which are the flawless cultivation that all living beings dream of. Each one has a glorious history and legend, and their former owners have relied on them to shine in the long river of time. I think they are enough to meet your cultivation needs the demon man leading the way ahead spoke vividly. When mentioning the so dot called perfect and flawless Dao Zhong, even his face, as a true immortal, showed a look of envy. This is not surprising, because there is a famous saying circulating in the primitive world that mastering a perfect ancient seed is equivalent to mastering one's own destiny. Many cultivators spend their entire lives searching for the perfect seed because the perfect seed has an incredibly powerful effect. They contain too much of the atmosphere of this world. If one becomes one with a cultivator in an instant, then the practitioner is equivalent to seeing many essence of the world at this moment, and can comprehend the true essence of it. This will affect the life of the cultivator, and its impact is beyond imagination. Moreover, the perfect seed is different from other seeds in that once it is united with a cultivator, it is a permanent unity, unlike other seeds which are only momentary insights. This means that practitioners have many opportunities in this life to use the perfect seed to integrate with the vast world, and thus achieve evolution and sublimation on the path of cultivation. Even true immortals are drooling over such an incredible thing. Unfortunately, the number of perfect seeds is limited, and ordinary creatures have little hope. Even the immortals find it difficult to obtain one, often traveling through the ancient world, which is difficult to find. Only creatures of the immortal king level have a greater chance of getting it, but it also depends on luck. Those like the Wang family who possess three perfect seeds are considered among the top in the entire primitive ancient world. However, Wang Heng did not show much excitement or excitement, for no other reason. He was aware of the future official history of the immortal ancient era. In the war with foreign lands, the defeat of the primitive ancient world was largely due to the shortcomings of the Dao Zhong F.A. The inspiration this war has given to future generations is that the perfect seed is not truly flawless. Perhaps in the primitive ancient world, their owners were so powerful that they could blend in with the ancient world anytime and anywhere, controlling the heavens and the earth, and doing anything. However, once there is a change in the environment of heaven and earth, this state will be greatly affected and even unsuitable, leading to a sudden decline in strength. In the war between worlds, the damage to the strength of top players is extremely fatal, directly determining the victory or defeat of the war, and the life and death of all spirits. Of course, this does not mean that Wang Heng does not aspire to obtain a perfect seed. If one can have a flawless Taoist seed in the immortal age, then the future achievements of a cultivator will definitely not be low. The demon man glanced at Wang Heng and saw his silent and expressionless expression. He couldn't help but shake his head and let out a sigh. Why did he say so much to the young master who had lost his memory? The other party now knows nothing about the path of cultivation, has no idea of the importance of the perfect seed, and does not know that they were born with a golden spoon. It is not an exaggeration to say that they are in the midst of blessings and do not know their blessings. Young master, we're here, that's it. The two of them stopped in front of a magnificent and majestic metal palace complex. This is the famous preaching hall in the royal mansion, 
which houses countless Taoist teachings and enjoys a great reputation throughout the entire primitive ancient world. The practice of cultivating immortal ancient ways and methods actually emphasizes one word. Inheritance. No matter what kind of seeds you plant when planting the path, whether it's a fire seed, a path seed, an immortal seed, or a demon seed. It all requires a guide to build a foundation for you in advance, and then ignite the seeds for you to release their power. Only then can you plant them. Of course, this guide can also be an ancient character or a scripture. In the preaching hall of the Wang family, there are as many ancient characters and scriptures as a cow's hair, and among them, the most top-notch ones are even coveted by true immortals. Wang Heng stood still, looking towards the metal palace complex. One after another towering metal halls, arranged and arranged in a certain way, are situated on the vast square. It is unknown what metal they are made of, shining brightly and grand. On the surface, the metal palace appears calm and there is no visible defensive force guarding it, but in reality, all living beings in the immortal king's mansion know that it is a forbidden place and cannot be set foot on. Even powerful beings standing in the realm of immortality cannot approach it without the permission of the immortal king, otherwise they will pay the price of bleeding. In the past, there was a painful lesson where more than one true immortal died. From then on, even if they knew that there was a shocking immortal tradition hidden in the Wang family's preaching hall, no one dared to break through. As a true immortal under the Wang family, the demon man naturally showed a proud expression when talking about these things. To be honest, young master, those deceased immortals actually came for the Yuan Shen Sword Decision, one of the three major sword decisions. At that time, it was unknown who spread the rumor that the immortal king had no descendants and was afraid of encountering unexpected events in the future, which led to the loss of this sword decision. Therefore, he sealed it in the preaching hall and waited for those who were destined. As a result, several true immortals who didn't know what to do risked sneaking in and trying it out, and ultimately lost their lives in vain after hearing this, Wang Heng remained speechless for a moment. With just a few true immortals, did he have the courage to plot the secret technique of the immortal king? He doesn't believe it anyway. Perhaps there is a fairy king pushing behind this matter. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Bloodline you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Bloodline Moreover, it is highly likely that the prince of the Wang family knows the ins and outs of it, but it has not been revealed, and both sides have remained silent. It is said that during the Xiangu era, the people in the primitive ancient world were simple and the cultivators were focused on seeking immortals. There was not so much hostility, but a vast ancient world could not have been without conflict or bloodshed. This is something that is inevitable in any great world. Even in a mild environment, the essence is still the law of the jungle. Wang Heng's impression of the primitive ancient world all comes from the scattered narration in the book Perfect World. He knows that when a foreign army attacks, almost all ethnic groups and creatures rise up to resist, and the entire ancient world becomes unprecedentedly united. However, before this, the world was also filled with hatred, but the pressure and threat from foreign lands made people temporarily put aside their grievances and choose to fight side by side. Which one are we going to? Wang Heng pointed to the metal hall towering on the horizon in front of him and asked, from his perspective, each main hall had an extraordinary momentum, and it was really difficult to distinguish the level of the main hall. Upon hearing this, the demon man pointed to the silver metal palace at the edge of the building complex and responded, Master Hui, let's go to this one. This hall is the most basic one in our royal family's preaching hall, containing ancient characters and scriptures, which are very suitable for beginners. Although the young master is not yet a practitioner, he has never entered the path of cultivation, yet he can rely on his talent to crush the supreme pride of the vast majority of cultivators. It is easy for him to comprehend those ancient characters and scriptures. You should know that the closer you are to immortality, the stronger the immortal aura you carry on your body. When comprehending ancient Chinese characters, you can achieve twice the result with half the effort. Gongzi Gui is the prince of immortality. 
It is not an exaggeration to say that every inch of flesh and every strand of hair is flowing with immortal radiance. It takes ten and a half days for others to fully understand the ancient characters. You only need an instant, which is a talent that no one can match speaking of these, the demon man's gaze towards Wang Heng became more and more respectful, because he knew that if nothing unexpected happened, Wang Heng's future would be bright. In this life, there is only Wang Heng among the young people of the Xian Wang parent. Child level. The young Tianjiao of other Xian Wang families are all descendants who have been separated by countless generations. Even if there are those who have returned to their ancestors, their bloodline is not as strong as the true Xian Wang parent. Child. Moreover, there is a gap between the Prince of Immortals and the Prince of Immortals. There is a watershed stuck in between with one side being the offspring born before the Jingdao Immortal King and the other side being the offspring born after the Jingdao Immortal King. The two cannot be compared in terms of difficulty and difficulty. Because the higher the cultivation level of a cultivator, the lower the probability of giving birth to offspring. At the realm of the Immortal King, this probability is so low that it can be ignored and will be calculated in millions, millions, or even epochs. The Wang family was like this, and it took several epochs after the achievement of the immortal king to have a son by chance. It can be seen from this that Wang Heng's talent and bloodline are so incredible that they can directly crush a group of descendants of the same age immortal kings. In the future, he will be a reliable leader in the world. Perhaps such an existence can truly replicate the myth of the Jin Wu tribe in the immortal realm, making the Wang family a double immortal king. Thinking of this, the demon man became more and more respectful and respectful towards the young master in front of him. Sensing the change in the gaze of the immortal beside him, Wang Heng roughly knew what the other person was thinking. He had no sense of pride at all, and deep down there was nothing ethereal, only urgency and heaviness. According to the official history of the Xiangu era, the Wang family fell from the Xian Wang family to the Zhenxian family after the middle of the era. Among them, the immortal king was robbed, severely injured and retreated to seclusion, enduring his life until the late period of the immortal age when he passed away. The reason why he did this was to intimidate his enemies and ensure that the Wang family could continue to exist. As the only descendant of the Wang family, the fate of Wang Heng should be to survive, resist the Wang family flag, and ultimately successfully achieve true immortality placing the Wang family at the level of a true immortal family. The immortal weapon of Wang Heng will be the immortal weapon of the future generations of the Wang family. However, Wang Heng was unable to withstand the catastrophe and died in battle with a foreign land. The Wang family of the chaotic ancient era lost their true immortals and could only rely on Wang Changsheng, who suffered from the calamity of immortality, to establish themselves in heaven and earth. In the end, this family, which had made great contributions to the primitive ancient world, became a member of the rebels. In this life, Wang Heng traveled through time and replaced the original Wang Heng. The gears of fate slowly rotated at this moment, and everything would become different. He didn't want to die like the himself in official history, even if it was just a dream, he had to live well. Taking a deep breath, Wang Heng walked steadily towards the silver white metal hall pointed out by the demon man. According to the demon man, the prohibition here will not be activated against him, the only descendant of the Wang family, just walk in. Sure enough, the journey was smooth and calm, with no waves and nothing happening. But this does not mean that this place is truly safe. With a keen sense that is different from ordinary people, Wang Heng can clearly sense the power of the immortal path flowing in the surrounding void. They are majestic, vast, and endless, sometimes presenting mysterious patterns, and sometimes transforming into complex ancient characters, accommodating the vast expanse of the universe and all living beings, giving people a sense of vastness and majesty. If it weren't for the immortal king's bloodline flowing within Wang Heng's body, these powers would have exploded long ago, even stronger than the quasi-immortal king, they would probably not be able to resist and would have been crushed into ashes. Fortunately, Wang Heng is special and has the privilege to ignore these fairy king-level prohibitions. 
Arriving at the silver-white metal palace, a pair of huge doors blocked his path forward. These two gates are both silver-white, towering and towering, like two insurmountable mountains with two huge metal rings hanging on them. They remain motionless, as if they have been silent for billions of years. The surface of the door is lined with intricate patterns and ancient characters. Although Wang Heng cannot understand these ghostly symbols, he can feel that they are explaining the most fundamental principles between heaven and earth. This is the essence of the language, writing, and methods of the immortal era, which can directly point to the origin of the Great Way. Before entering the preaching hall, these two huge doors alone are equivalent to an unparalleled scripture. If it were to wander into the mortal world, it would be enough to make a powerful family rise from the ground and prosper for generations to come. Wang Heng couldn't help but marvel that the immortal king family is truly wealthy and powerful, and every place is a treasure that the world cannot imagine. Just as he was feeling emotional, a sudden, creaking, sound sounded, as if sensing the immortal blood flowing on Wang Heng's body, and two huge metal doors slowly opened. A vast expanse of stars appeared before Wang Heng's eyes, which was the essence of this divine and demon world. It was the entrance ticket to the path of cultivation, and at this moment, it was completely open to Wang Heng. Immediately change the status, and after changing the signing status, stabilize for one day or two updates, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 Ancient Characters You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Ancient Characters The Silver White Metal Hall opened up, revealing a tip of the iceberg before Wang Heng's eyes. In just an instant, an indescribable magnificent scene appeared in his eyes. What kind of preaching hall is this? It's simply a vast galaxy of stars. Countless stars were suspended, arranged, twinkling, shining brightly in the main hall, shining brilliantly and incomparably brilliant, a scene that Wang Heng had never seen before. The stars were scattered, each emitting a soft starlight, beautiful and giving people a dreamlike feeling. But if you look closely, you will find that these stars are not real stars at all, but one word after another. Each stroke and painting contains the trajectory of the Tao, outlining the most fundamental secret of this world. Wang Hun was shocked. Is this the million immortal ancient script that has been passed down in the primitive ancient world? It's really too vast, like an endless ocean. According to the demon man, it is best for oneself to become proficient in ancient Chinese characters before planting the Tao, as this would be of great benefit to planting the Tao. However, the ancient Chinese characters and the words of the Tao in front of us are millions of words, more than ten times more than the Chinese characters in the real world. It is not easy to understand the vast majority of them. And, the text here is different from real Chinese characters. They are used to describe and describe the Great Way. To master it, one must understand the true meaning of the Great Way contained in the text, which further increases the difficulty. But Wang Heng will not be intimidated by the current difficulties. He knows that these words are the foundation of the path of cultivation. The saying goes, if you want to reach the top, build the foundation first, and the road must be walked step by step. Taking a deep breath, he stepped forward into the magnificent silver and white metal ancient palace. When he stepped in with both feet, the huge door immediately closed with a rumbling sound, leaving no gap left. The immortal in the distance couldn't help but nod secretly when he saw this scene. With the unparalleled talent of the young master, it should not be long before he comprehends those ancient characters and cultivates the Tao. It seems that this awakening of talent has not taken too long. When the immortal king returns, everything has been carried out according to his plan, he said to himself. If Wang Heng had achieved great success in cultivating the Tao and relied on his terrifying elemental talent to dominate all directions and shake the ancient world, as Wang Heng's guardian, he would definitely have received praise from the immortal king. For a true immortal, any guidance from the immortal king is an unparalleled treasure that can be encountered but not sought after, let alone praised. Thinking of this, the demon man's face showed a smile, and he may use it to further advance on the path of immortality. At this moment, 
Inside the silver and white metal hall, Wang Heng stands in a dark world, looking up at the sky. The vast immortal ancient character river hangs above his head in the form of endless stars. Before truly starting to practice and comprehend, one can already feel the extraordinary nature of these ancient characters. Each character has a profound meaning, explaining some rules and principles, and exuding a strong sense of the Tao. Rather than saying this is the ocean of ancient Chinese characters, it is better to say that this is the ocean of great roads. Wandering in it is equivalent to blending with the Tao and merging with heaven and earth. With a nervous heart, Wang Heng set his sights on a star. It is located at the end of the Milky Way, emitting light that is not among the top of the million stars, making it a relatively weaker category of the Great Way rules. Wang Heng was a newcomer and didn't know the difficulty level of comprehending these ancient characters, so he naturally had to try the easiest to understand first. When his gaze fell on this star, there seemed to be an induction in the dark, creating a certain connection between each person who was originally far apart. At the next moment, the stars fell with brilliant tail flames towards Wang Heng. A strong breath of righteousness rushed over him, enveloping his entire being. It was peculiar, vibrant, and full of vitality, as if all things were being born and revived. Wang Heng himself also had a reaction, with strands of immortal breath emanating from his flesh and blood, floating around him, giving people a sense of divinity, as if transcending the world and not in the realm of humanity. This is not something he is controlling, but a natural response from his body. That star fell with a rainbow-like momentum, but as soon as it approached Wang Heng's body, it was captured by the immortal aura around him, like a swamp, a big net, blocking and slowing it down, and finally remained motionless, landing on Wang Heng's chest. The ancient texts, mysterious curves, are like cast metal, shining with starlight, all presented in Wang Heng's eyes. Even though he has only been in this world for less than an hour and is not familiar with everything, he has an extraordinary ability to quickly understand the true meaning of ancient characters when facing the immortal characters in front of him. This may be a powerful elemental power, or perhaps it is the immortal aura around the body that is like a tentacle in short, Wang Heng only took one breath to fully comprehend the rules of the great road outlined in the ancient characters on his chest. It tells the story of a plant's process from birth to growth, to rooting and sprouting, and then to growing into towering vines. The entire process is filled with a strong vitality, which drives its growth. Therefore, this ancient character can be classified into the category of life rules. Wang Heng, who fully understood the true meaning of his great path, gained a lot. Although this was just an ordinary one among millions of ancient characters, it was like a knocking brick, giving him a rough understanding of the direction of the immortal ancient system. Suddenly, he reached out a hand and gathered the strength of his body that could be used by him in his palm, attempting to showcase what he had learned. In the palm of his hand, there was a misty and mysterious mist, with shallow rules of the road flowing. At the next moment, an ancient character appeared. The curved texture was exactly the same as that of the ancient character falling from the sky. It was carved from the same mold. Under the urging of Wang Heng, this ancient character began to undergo changes. Firstly, it emitted light, forming a cocoon of light on the surface, and then turned into a brown seed with a hint of green. Then, the vitality of life rushed in, and the seed trembled incessantly. In the end, a tender bud broke through the seed coat, emerged from the inside, and arrived in a strange world. Then, a strong vitality spurts out and acts on the tender buds. It grew wildly at a visible speed, as if taking a tonic, and in an instant, it grew to the height of two adult men. And with Wang Hang's efforts, it is still constantly extending and expanding. In no time, a huge vine several Zhang Long appeared here, as thick as an arm, covered in green leaves and lush. Looking at his masterpiece, Wang Heng, who originally believed in the supremacy of science, was shocked beyond words. It took less than half a cup of tea to create such a green landscape. If it were put into the real world, it would inevitably be regarded as a miracle. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Fire Rhinoceros 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 Fire Rhinoceros, Is This the Power of Ancient Chinese Characters? It is truly the language that describes the Great Way, Wang Hung muttered to himself. However, he also discovered some problems. The vines he created did not actually have life. If he stopped supplying the power of life, the vine would quickly dry up and turn into dust. Compared to real green plants, what he created by relying on the rules of the road is missing many things, lacking a soul, and impossible to survive. After all, the creation of life is the power of heaven, how could it be so easily handed over to living beings? Shaking his head, Wang Heng cut off the chain of power, and the vine turned into ash in an instant, scattering with the wind. He didn't linger, but instead looked up at his head. After successfully mastering the first ancient character and displaying it with his own strength, he became even more interested in the millions of immortal ancient characters floating above his head. I have already witnessed the magic of ancient characters related to the rules of life. In the future, what kind of strange ancient characters are waiting for him? Thinking of this, Wang Heng couldn't wait to start practicing the second ancient character. Just like the first one, just by looking at it, the ancient characters and stars are locked in place, and then waiting for them to fall down, capturing them with the immortal aura around them. Quickly, Wang Heng understood the true meaning of the second ancient character, which elucidated the heaviest earth element among the five elements. Mastering this ancient character allows for the creation of earth in the void. As long as the power is strong enough, it can create a huge mountain, even a star, out of thin air. Living beings like Wang Heng who have not yet truly embarked on the path of cultivation can rely on the powerful talent brought by the immortal king's bloodline to transform some earth blocks, leaving mountains and stars untouched. Sure enough, Wang Heng made a slight attempt and successfully obtained a palm-sized piece of lus. It has quality, boundaries, and is a tangible existence, which is no different from creating things in the void and subverting human imagination. However, like vines, the soil blocks are difficult to maintain after losing Wang Heng's power and will disperse in a short period of time. Watching the soil in his hand drift away with the wind, Wang Heng tirelessly began to comprehend the third ancient character. There were no exceptions this time, he only succeeded in a short amount of time. Next are the fourth, fifth, sixth. The hundredth the more ancient characters he comprehends, the more fascinating he becomes. Wang Heng cannot stop and accumulates them like hunger and thirst. These ancient characters are the solid support for him to establish himself in another world and an indispensable cornerstone of his path of cultivation. For him, the more, the better. Later on, Wang Heng was no longer satisfied with his speed and directly locked in five ancient characters at once. I saw five shooting stars falling together, with bright tail wings, cutting through the night sky and charging towards Wang Heng. Looking around, it feels like five meteorites that have broken through the atmosphere, yet they are still approaching, giving people a great sense of oppression. Wang Heng could still remain calm, because the repeated captures helped him roughly understand the bottom line of his abilities, and the five ancient characters were not his limit at all. However, things are always full of variables. When five meteors fall down with the momentum of towering mountains and close to the earth, the ancient characters have changed themselves. Five ancient characters are arranged and combined in a unique way, rotating rapidly. In the next moment, the flames soar into the sky, and the shooting star completely turns into a fireball. Within the fireball, a rhinoceros with a huge unicorn gradually gave birth to its body, its eyes fierce and indifferent, staring at Wang Heng. It opened its bloody mouth and let out a deafening roar. Wang Heng was taken aback by the sudden change, but soon he calmed down. In my current self, not only do I have the immortal aura possessed by the immortal prince and his son to capture ancient characters, but I can also utilize the ancient characters I previously mastered. With such thoughts in mind, Wang Heng flipped his hand, his pure and white immortal aura surging like boiling water. This was not cultivation or Taoist conduct, but the innate power of the immortal prince and his son, who were born close to the immortal path. 
Because of this, he can achieve twice the result with half the effort when comprehending the true meaning of the great road contained in ancient Chinese characters. Buzz. Three ancient characters emerged, flashed away, turned into seeds, and emitted a brilliant light. Subsequently, under Wang Heng's spell, the three seeds took root and sprouted, growing rapidly. In the blink of an eye, they transformed into several Zhang tall vines, and the three vines intertwined with each other, forming a huge web that covered Wang Heng's head. As soon as the giant web was formed, the flame rhinoceros rushed down with a thunderous force and collided with it. Shit! The flames surged into the sky, and the green leaves on the vines burned one by one, disappearing at a speed visible to the naked eye. However, the main trunk of the vines was very sturdy, and no matter how the flame rhinoceros spewed flames or roared, it was of no use and could not struggle. It had an angry expression, blood-red eyes, and roared up to the sky. Mysterious ancient characters appeared on its body. Then, the color of the flames changed, and a terrifying high temperature swept over it. Even the extremely patient vines were unable to bear it, and its roots and stems became scorched black. As the big net was about to break and be in danger, Wang Heng remained silent and increased his power output. At the same time, he used the immortal aura overflowing from the immortal king's bloodline to entangle himself among the vines. With the blessing of the immortal aura, the tenacity of the vine increased significantly, and it suddenly controlled the fire rhinoceros. It had no hope of breaking free anymore. After a stalemate, the fire rhinoceros gradually calmed down, and the fierce aura in its eyes slowly dissipated. Later, its entire body disintegrated, transforming into countless light particles, gathering in the void, and finally converging into five ancient characters. Wang Heng breathed a sigh of relief upon seeing the situation, and with a gesture, the five ancient characters floated over, no longer resisting. His eyes flickered and he understood the true meaning of the five ancient characters. Subsequently, Wang Heng began a new attempt and gradually increased the speed of comprehension and cultivation. 6, 7, 10, he tried his limits. The entanglement of immortal aura makes all the plants grown from seeds much stronger, allowing Wang Heng to comprehend ten ancient characters at once and accelerating his cultivation speed. As he constantly comprehended ancient characters, the changes he encountered in ancient characters became even more wonderful, such as the flame rhinoceros, three-headed bird, white jade lion, colorful butterfly each organism represents a complex set of rules, formed by the arrangement and combination of the most basic ancient characters. The same ancient characters have different arrangements and combinations, resulting in different outcomes. However, this does not mean that any combination can become a spell or talisman. Perhaps, out of the millions of arrangements of several ancient characters, only a few can produce effects and exert power. Over time, useful and powerful Taoist techniques will form and be passed down, creating sects, families, and so on. End of this chapter